She's following other guys' stuff on Facebook. What do I do? Hey guys, Jeff here with Great Men Move Mountains. Literally just got off a call with a guy from the forums out of Alabama. And admittedly, he's really jealous right now of the attention that his wife is giving to the dog, to the kids, to coworkers. She has a new career and as a nurse, and she's following one of the doctor's Facebook posts and Instagram. And, you know, he just went to the Czech Republic and sent 10 pictures a day of this guy and his wife. And he's noticing that this guy likes her stuff all the time. And he was seeing, oh, is my wife liking his pictures from his vacation? Is she following his stuff today? And he's gotten himself in this real frenzy around her interactions on social media. What to do? He asked me, how do I become more secure? How do I not feel jealous? What do I do about this? How do I need to be? How do I need to think about what's going on? Well, firstly, my goal is always to help stop these horrible, egregious, <laughs> nail in the coffin mistakes that guys can make. And I'll bet you guess, the first one is don't approach her about her social media interactions with any other guys. At this moment, you're showing her that you're focused on your life. You're striving for greatness in your world. You're focusing on your career, on your kids, on your health, hitting the gym. And you know you should be posting on the forum or reaching out to an initiated man or a coach or a friend who understands the situation and what's going on and is not going to give you some bullshit feedback like you should confront the doctor or blow up on your wife about it or anything that's a horrible mistake like that. Right? Especially, especially at this time in your relationship with your wife. If you're going to come across as the you know beating your chest, trying to mate guard, or uh, give her these ultimatums about Facebook and social media, it's not going to come across very well. <laughs> I bet you could have guessed that already. Right? So how can he think about this? He can think about this, and I suggest you think about this, and man, I had to go through this as well, is do you want to have a wife that's attractive? Do you want to have a spouse that's attractive to other men? I mean, you could be sleeping with Quasimodo, and I guess you wouldn't have to worry about social media interactions because she's probably not going to get a lot of Facebook follows. But guess what? That doesn't mean that she's not going to follow his stuff. So you also, you can't control what she does. Right? So here's the way to think about it. I want to have a spouse, a wife, a girlfriend that's attractive. And guess what? Other guys are going to think she's attractive too. So can you appreciate the fact that you want to have a woman that other men are going to find attractive? If you can outwardly express that, if you feel secure enough to say to your woman, hey, I saw that post that you made on Instagram, that picture of you snuggling up next to your coworker. And man, I think it's, I think it's hot that my wife is so good looking, so attractive, so cute in that dress that you wore, that a coworker would wanna come snuggle up next to you and take that picture. Now that probably was not her intention with the picture, of course, and she might get a little flustered of your interpretation of what's going on, okay? But that's okay, you don't mind that she gets flustered. What you're doing is showing her that you can appreciate the fact that she's an attractive woman and that you understand and can call out the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is other guys are going to find her sexually attractive. If you can even say that first, if you can mention that you love that, if you really can feel that you love that your woman is attractive and recognize that other men are going to think so too and share that with her in little ways, okay, little ways is the key. Don't go overboard with this. That you understand that other guys find her sexy and attractive and that you love that, that's going to turn her on inside. That's going to show her that you're a high value man that's secure with himself. Now, this isn't a game. You have to actually know that and believe that, that you do appreciate that other guys are going to find her attractive. Don't fake it. It has to come from a true, genuine place. Otherwise, she's going to feel that. It's going to come across as manipulative or some line that you saw somewhere. You know, what are you doing? Who's this Jeff guy that's giving you these lines? No, it has to be honest from the heart, from the gut, 
that you know she's an attractive woman and other guys are going to think so too. Remember, there's you, there's her, and there's the relationship. You're controlling you. You're going to be a better man. You're going to be 2.0 version of yourself. You cannot control what she does and don't try. It's not going to go well. And you can influence your interactions within the relationship. So in the relationship, you know, I have a woman who's attractive and other guys are going to think so too. Give that mindset a try. If you're not ready to say anything like, hey, I saw you, your picture on Instagram the other day. I love, you look so hot in that picture. I love that other guys are attracted to you. I love your femininity and sexuality in the world. It turns me on. If you're not ready to say that to your woman, that's fine. But you can hold it in your heart. You can hold it within your body that you know that she's an attractive woman and you're okay with other guys thinking so too. That shows centeredness and calmness and lack of insecurity, of confidence as a man. And that's going to turn her on just in and of itself. Talk to you soon, brother. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose heart is sunshine, whose body burn hot. I'm going to tell you about a woman whose cold is tundra with some frozen eyes. I can tell by the way she moves that she cares and it's lovely too. I'm going to tell you about a story of a broken man, how it be girl, how it ends, but he didn't understand, it's all a love.